Hi, this is Greg. Today I'm going to have a look at a problem in Wirecast relating to CPU load when using the Rendezvous dashboard. Before I do anything though, I'm going to reset preferences on the system just to make sure we start in a clean state and eliminate any variables. So we're ready to go and get started now. Now I'm going to do two tests. The first one I'm going to use just a brand new document with one media source. And for that I'll load that file. So there's our one media file. Now if we go into Activity Monitor, now we need to disregard this CL recorder process. This is part of Camtasia, which is recording the screen right now. But Wirecast is running at around 15%. If we now open the Rendezvous dashboard, or before I do, just noticing it's currently 19%, so somewhere between 15 and 20, roughly. When we open the Rendezvous dashboard, we now currently have 20%. That's just using this camera as an input source to Rendezvous and pushing up to 25%, back down to 21. So let's call it around 20 to 25%. But this is where it gets interesting. If I switch that to have a look at live output, Wirecast immediately jumps up from what was 20% up to 40%. Now, if you remember that before I even opened the Rendezvous dashboard, it was 15% jumping up to 40%. That's more than double the CPU load when I've got Rendezvous with no guests even added in yet. This is just sending my live output to Rendezvous. We went from 15 to 40%. Now, that is one CPU. Granted, it's only one CPU and we've got a four-core machine. But let's do a more realistic test. That's with one file. If I do something like this, and I open my regular file that I use, and I send this live instead, So this is a more challenging test. I'll just clear that layer, I don't need that. So now we've got Wirecast at 62% and VT Decoder XPC service at close to 60% as well. So then we're gonna go over here and open the Rendezvous dashboard again. And that's interesting, this is a little bug where if the previous source is no longer available, document one live input from document one, it's gone instead of um, displaying some other output, it just sits there with nothing there. So that could be fixed perhaps in the future. Anyway, back to the point. Over here, if we change that to a camera source, we've got 60% there and 70% for Wirecast. So 130% out of a four core system, 130 out of say 400%. That's okay, that's acceptable. Not great, but it's acceptable. Then if we go and change this to live output from our template, Let's watch what happens to these numbers. We went from 60 up to 120 for both of them. So we've doubled the CPU utilization required. And keep in mind, we're not sending to YouTube. We're not recording to disk. We're not streaming. We have no rendezvous guests connected. This is just opening up the dashboard. 
it feels to me like something has changed after the previous version. Um, I didn't see this in the beta cycle, but so something has definitely changed. Um, one other thing I will do just to prove this is not an issue relating to data or documents. So I have created a new, I'm just trying to remember where it is. So I've created a new template using this version of Wirecast from the ground up and I've made sure it was absolutely perfectly clean with no remnants or bad artifacts, etc. So right now I'm just sending that live. And again, we've got 60 and close to 70% for those two services. If I go over here and I open the Rendezvous dashboard, we've got nothing initially, right? So we've got the same value. But if we go over here and we change that to live output from our program, so activate the program out, we immediately double those numbers approximately. Now, I'm only making an educated guess here, but it feels like the video work here is CPU bound, not GPU bound, and that rendering to the screen uses a certain amount of CPU. And as soon as I've got to render that to the additional window in Rendezvous, it's doubling the load. Notice when I just closed the Rendezvous window, that load went back down to what it was before we opened it. So it's still got that buffering and ready to go in memory to a remote rendezvous guest, but the CPU load disappears when we close that window. Anyway, look, that's my bug report. I hope, Telestream, you can have a look at this and come back with um, a patch or an update as soon as possible because at the moment this is preventing me from using Wirecast version 10. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.